how to make sure your home is safe when your baby is learning to walk. Hi, I'm Mark Renner from Berkshire Hathaway Ambassador Real Estate. I'm known as Mr. Omaha. That's my logo in the upper corner of your screen. I've been voted the outstanding agent in Omaha twice. And recently I was honored by the Omaha Area Board of Realtors as being a legend in real estate. But today I want to talk to you about being certain that your home is safe when your baby is learning to walk. And this goes to not just parents, but grandparents. You know, grandparents, your little loved grandchildren will be over at your house when they're learning to walk and you will adore them. And so you want to be sure that your home is just as safe as the parents' home. In the case of our family, my first wife is the uh, uh, nanny to my daughter's children. So my daughter, so my grandchildren are over at her house all the time. And we want to be certain that the home is safe for, the, for our kids and our grandchildren. So let's talk about how to make sure your home is safe when your baby is learning to walk. These are some items for you to consider that just, I know you're thinking about them, but let's just review them. Eliminate tripping hazards. You know, tripping hazards on the floor or when you get near the stairs, tripping habit, habits that could make them fall down the stairs. Secure anything that could fall. Babies will have a tendency to climb up, open drawers, climb up on chest of drawers, bookshelves, and those things that could fall over. You know, those things come with ways to uh, bolt them or, or secure them to the wall. And in that same vein, discourage climbing of your youngster. It's just a way that they're going to get hurt, fall, something will fall over on them. Secure the windows and doors so that they can't open them. Um, I remember when my children were younger, they had those little handles that uh, you, they couldn't open any cabinet drawers to get to any medicine, to get to anything under the sink. Uh, there's those spinning little plastic knobs that go on doorknobs so that the kids who are not strong enough or have big enough hands can open those doors. So secure the windows and doors. And at the same time, be sure you get some baby gates uh, to put at the top of the stairs because stairs can really be dangerous for a young child, especially if they crawl out of the crib and start walking around and you don't know it. It could be the middle of the night, could be daytime, but be certain that you have those gates. Uh, lock down the kitchens and bathrooms. And so I was talking about a minute ago, make sure those cabinet doors are locked down so that the, the, the youngsters, the adorable youngsters cannot get to those items that are under the kitchen sink or in the bathrooms, which many times would include prescription drugs and other things like that. So protect your toddler from other dangers. Like I said, the stairs and put up a gate. But I want you to go through your home and look through your home through your baby's eyes. This may seem like a good sense, common sense thing to do, but please do it. Walk through your house, pretend that you're a baby, look at things that you could possibly look at to get into trouble. So I'd love to talk to you about any of your real estate wants or needs. Let me get my contact information for you here. My contact information is scrolling beneath the screen. Um, go to my website at markrenner.com. It's an interesting website. There'll be videos on there to let you know how the COVID-19 is affecting the real estate market and videos on what is the real estate market in Omaha doing today. And check out my special report section where you can get special reports that I've written about what to do to get your house ready to sell and how to get it ready to sell for the top price. Uh, if you're looking to buy a home, the things you want to look for, and the mistakes you want to avoid, I have special reports on mortgages, so you can learn the different ones of those. I have a special report on a builder, 
so that you can learn the different types of builders and the associated costs. And I've written a special report on the questions that you should ask a realtor when you're interviewing them. So if you want any of those special reports, you can get them there at my website. I can mail them to you or I can email them to you because I have them in a digital form. Or email me at mark at markrenner.com and tell me which special reports you'd like to have. And let me know if you want me to mail them or email them. Or just give me a phone call, 402-690-1688. Seven. So I'd love to talk to you about your real estate needs. Love to talk to you about your real estate questions. Please contact me if you have any needs or questions. I appreciate you watching today. Be safe.